Alright, hello everybody, and in today's video I am going to be reviewing the new minstrel skills that were released about a week ago prior to this video being uploaded. And of course, as usual, the skill information will be in the description, and I will also put a link to the sources if you want to see that as well. Anyways, let's go on ahead and see what these skills can do. Okay, so here are all of the minstrel skills. As you can see, there are six different songs that you can choose, and then there is one song, or not one song, but one other skill over here that is very different from the rest of them, but I will get over to this one later. So just some general information on all of these different songs. Uh, when you activate one of them, it will act as a buff that lasts a certain duration of time. And of course, when that duration is over, the song will end and you will have to cast it again. Now, when you are playing these songs, every 11 seconds, except for one of these skills, you will gain a stack that increases the power of the buff. And then, of course, when you have to reuse, or no, not when you have to reuse it, but when you have to, um, really when the buff ends, you will have to reuse it and you will lose those stacks. And then of course another thing to note is that if you either attack or you are attacked by something when you have one of these songs active, the buff's duration will go down to 11, 11 seconds, so you generally won't be attacking too much when you are using these skills. And because of that, I think the best weapon to use with these skills is either a bow or a bow gun because you can use crossfire, and crossfire allows you to do the most damage while attacking the least. So of course our first skill, we have it right here, it is healing song, it lasts 15 minutes, and it increases your HP regeneration by 50, and your mana regeneration by 25 per stack. Now of course I'm not really sure if that is correct, because those are the numbers that um, I saw, but when I actually used this skill, it didn't really seem to be that effective, because if I had 10 stacks and I was healing uh, 25 MP per stack, then that would be 250 MP, and I can definitely tell you that when you have this skill at level 10 and you have 10 stacks, um, it doesn't really seem to do 250 mana. As a matter of fact, I think it might only be 2.5 mana healed per stack. So somebody might have gotten the numbers wrong. But overall though, I don't think it really matters a whole lot because this skill is only effective outside of battle and I don't think anyone's really going to care about a skill that much that is useful only outside of battle. So you more than likely will only be getting this skill up to level five so that you can get the other skills. Then this next skill over here is Fairy Song. It lasts 5 minutes, and it increases your accuracy by 20% per stack, and your dodge by 10% per stack. Uh, overall, I think this might be one of the better ones, but I don't really think people are going to use it too often, because I don't think most people really care that much about their accuracy or their dodge rate. But I can imagine that if you were fighting a boss on ultimate mode, that this skill could potentially be useful. Because on ultimate... Um, bosses tend to have a very high dodge rate, so increasing your accuracy by 200% per in total could be very effective. But of course I haven't actually tried that out yet, so I don't know if it actually would be useful. And this next song over here is Passion Song. Now Passion Song, I don't know exactly what it does per stack, but I do know that at 10 stacks, it increases your damage to element by 15%, which is a pretty good amount. However, both you, the caster, and also your party members, in order to take advantage of this buff, both have to have the element, or like the proper element, according to whichever mob you are fighting. And so I feel like when you are just in like a random party, this skill right here isn't going to be very effective at all. Because uh, most people aren't going to have elements on their weapon. And of course, both, like I said earlier, both you and your party members have to have the element. So yeah, um, 
don't really see it being that useful if you really want to um, be a support character that increases your party member's damage. It would be a lot better to just get Warcry and uh, Brave Aura. Then on to the next skill right here. And Wisdom Song. I believe it actually increases your resistance by 2.5 per stack, which totals up to 25% resistance, which is actually a really nice buff. I can't remember the exact equation. It's not exactly 2.5% per buff, but that is essentially what it is. Oh, and by the way, I also forgot to mention that both of these songs right here last three minutes. And this next song we have right here is Life Song. Life Song increases your HP by 500 and 2.5% per stack, which of course totals up to 5000 HP and 25% HP, which is actually really nice. And in addition to that, it also heals you by that exact same amount every time it increases your HP. So you're not just like increasing your HP, you know, without actually getting any of it back. Although, to be honest, I feel like if you really wanted to be a healer, it would be a lot better to just get heal and equip a staff and use MP charge plus maximizer. So overall, it's not really a bad skill, but I just don't think it's the most effective option. And then the last song we have right here is Fantasy Song. Now, Fantasy Song is a little bit more complex than the rest of the, the songs on here, so excuse me if I mess up when I talk a little bit. But unlike the rest of the songs, what it does is instead it gains a stack every 6 seconds. And each one of these stacks, instead of acting like a buff, it acts a lot more like a charge that can be consumed. And what each one of these charges does is for every charge you have, you will restore 100 MP, you know, for the number of charges that you have whenever you use any type of attack. Now, of course, like I said, it's a little bit difficult to explain, so I think I'm going to have to give you a bit more of an example. But just say, like, you know, you gain three stacks uh, when you use this skill. Like, you, you know, you wait the amount of time and you get three stacks. And then when you attack you're going to recover 300 of your MP. And then of course if you get another 2 stacks after that, totaling up to 5 stacks, and you attack again, you're going to regain 200 MP. So I don't know if I really explained that correctly, but hopefully you understand that. I feel like this skill is a little bit more one that you have to use and then understand. Uh, because for whatever reason, it just seems very difficult to actually try and explain it. Of course, this isn't really like a bad skill or anything, but I do definitely feel like if you wanted to restore your party member's MP, it would be a lot better to equip a pair of knuckles as either a primary weapon or a sub-weapon, and then just spam chakra. Alright, and then this last skill we have here is ad-lib. Now, as long as any one of these other skills is useful to you, then you're definitely going to want to get ad-lib, because what it does is, like I said earlier, uh, when you either attack or get attacked while you are playing a song, that song's duration will drop down all the way to 11 seconds. And then, of course, so it will eventually go away. However, if you use this skill during those 11 seconds, you can actually restore your old song's duration and number of stacks. So yeah, overall, it is a really useful skill for the minstrel class to get. And in addition to that, it also restores some of your MP, but I don't really know what determines how much MP it restores. So you are going to have to go down and look at the description, because I don't quite know how to describe the amount of MP that it restores, like actually in words, because it's, you know it's kind of confusing to be honest. But either way, I don't think you'd really want to use this skill for MP restoration because it isn't really the best skill to use for that. And to be honest, because you have, um, or generally, if you're going to make a minstrel build, you're probably going to want to equip either a bow or a bow gun with it, which means that you're going to be able to use decoy shot very easily, so MP isn't really much of a problem for you. Anyways, let's go on ahead and test out these skills. 
All right, so as you can see right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my accuracy and my dodge. It's 421 and 194. If I use this skill right here, it goes up. And if I gain another stack, just gotta wait a few seconds, it's going to go up even further. And then this one right here, as you can see, it increases my HP and heals me for that exact same amount. But of course, obviously, it stops healing you once it reaches 10 stacks because it's not going to increase your max HP anymore. Which is, again, why I think mini heal, or not mini heal, but heal is going to be a lot better for healing. Of course, we also have this one right here. So let me go on ahead and use up some of my MP. So I'm going to get rid of that buff right there. And I might as well go on ahead and show you what ad lib does. So if I use it, it restores its duration, and I get to keep my number of stacks. However, it's the, but, um, the song's duration is still going to continue to go down after that, so you can't use this skill to um, reset the duration of your song while keeping your stacks. And here it is, restoring MP. It's a little bit weird with the way that it does that. I don't really know how to describe what that does. And then of course, this one right here. I'm gonna go on ahead and attack one of these guys and get rid of my buff. And then, I'm gonna use this to waste some of my MP. So then if I use this right here, I'm going to get some stacks. So I have one stack. And now I have two. So if I attack this guy right here, that's going to restore my MP. And then of course I can continue singing the song by using ad lib. I can do that again. And for the most part, all of these skills right here function very similarly, so I don't think I really need to show you this one, this one, or this one over here. Well, anyways, that is it for this video. Uh, like I said earlier, the information will be down in the description, and I will see you later.